Today we're going to show you how to remove a Type B gearbox from a Rotax two-cycle aircraft engine. First step would be to remove the magnetic drain plug from the bottom of the gearbox using a 17 millimeter socket. Let the drain plug come out with the sealing gasket and drain the gear loop into an appropriate container. Next we're going to remove the 8mm fasteners on the outside of the gearbox housing using a 13mm socket. Six fasteners total on the outside. Once these six fasteners are removed, you can now remove the outer gearbox housing. You may need to tap on the housing itself gently with the rubber mallet, but do not tap on the propeller shaft. Now once inside, there are two more fasteners. These are 8mm fasteners and they can be removed using an 11mm socket. Again, the inner housing can be removed. You may have to tap on the housing gently with rubber mallet to break it loose from the back of the crankcase. Note there is a rubber o-ring that seals the gear lube against the back of the crankcase. And there's a paper gasket that seals the two halves of the gearbox. Now we need to lock the crankshaft. We rotate the engine here using a Rotax crankshaft locking pin. We're going to put the locking pin into the pulse port on the crankcase and rotate the crankshaft until the pin locks into the hole or slot in the crankshaft. It's locked in and now the crank is secured using the locking pin. Let's spin our engine back around here. Now that the crank shaft is secured, we can remove the bolt from the end of the crank shaft. Which is followed by a lock washer and a large flat washer. Brian, you'll call mark on one five zero, Brian, mark one five zero, please. Using Leading Edge Airfoil's tool, part number N is in November 5203. We're going to insert the button into the end of the gear here, and the removal tool will be threaded into the gear. We want to make sure we turn this down all the way to make sure that the thread surface on the puller and the gear itself are used completely so we're pulling on all threads not to damage them we're dispersing the 
the pressure across all threads evenly to make sure it's screwed in all the way. Next we're going to turn the bolt to put pressure on the end of the crank against that crankshaft button, which is very important because we don't want to damage the crankshaft. Now the gear comes off the end of the crankshaft, and that is the complete removal of the Rotax Type B gearbox from a two-cycle Rotax aircraft engine.